last minute of where you would be. Uh, when we moved fully out here in 2005, uh, we, started, we started the lottery in 2004. We moved fully out here in 2005. And the lottery has changed form as our national and international numbers grow. Uh, the Orlando Fringe is part of the Canadian Association of Fringe Festivals, which follows a true fringe model of being 100% unjuried, which simply means that the board and staff of the fringe do not adjudicate anything that gets into this festival. Um, the quality doesn't really matter to us. <laughs> it matters to you. It matters to your audience. It can be the worst thing in the world. It can be the best thing or anything in between. You've still got an equal shot. If it's your first time to come to the fest, you've got an equal shot as if it's your, uh, you know, going into your 18th year, like we are. So that's the injury piece. Uncensored speaks for itself. All fringes fall into that category, no matter where they're at, whether they subscribe to CAP or not. They're all uncensored festivals. You can do whatever you want on the stage, however you want to do it. Pretty much. Um, it's accessible. Accessible doesn't just mean to all kinds of people um, and ages and races and sexualities and religions. It also means that it's the most affordable way to produce and to view theater geographically speaking. So we want to keep it cheap for the artists to get into, like these spaces to rent would cost you a whole lot more, not, not through the fringe. Um, and also for our patrons, we keep our ticket prices capped out at $10. You decide your own ticket price, and that's what the patrons pay to see it. And then the last piece is that 100% of the box office ticket sales go back directly to view the artists. We take no cost in that whatsoever. There is a button fee, which is going to be eight bucks this year. We're going up just a little bit on that button fee. That money goes to the festival. Um, then there is a dollar surcharge that goes to our ticketing company on every ticket, regardless if it's bought online, regardless if it's bought here on site. To clear up all clarifications, there will be ticketing at both the Orlando Shakes and the Orlando Rep this year. Without a doubt. happen at both the silver and green venues um, and then at our box office which is right down here for those of you who've been before uh, which is often the concession stand when it's Shakespeare the rest of the year. Um, so what will happen next after tonight we're doing the lottery a little bit